Okay guys, so as promised, this is your video uh, to help you start your assignment free over half term. Uh, remember that it's due in on Friday, I think it's the 3rd, Friday the 3rd that it's due in. Sunday. Okay, on the Sunday, uh, just before you come back from half term. Uh, but this is just a little video for you um, to have a look at uh, helping with your assignment and uh, get started with it. So obviously, uh, this assignment is on Moodle. Um, you can find it. Uh, make sure that you use this. Uh, you don't need to print it out, just do it all online um, and then you can submit it through, turn it in. Um, this page will come up once you've uh, gone onto it. All right. Um, and as we scroll down, here we go. As we scroll down, um, just stick in your normal details and then you've got your two training types resistance and aerobic. Starting off with resistance, all right, just talk about what you did um, and what was in the session, all right. And then going through into exactly the same for aerobic, all right, and if we move on through, we then got our pre-training readings, okay. Um, now this is what we did before uh, before we did any of the exercise, all right, um, and this is some of the data that I've put in and, uh, and that Alex has helped put in as well, all right, so make sure that you, you've you popped that in. This is your pre-training readings, though, so this is before aerobic and resistance has even started. What you've then got is you've got the post-training readings, okay, um, and that is to be entered in after the aerobic and the resistant exercises. Okay, so you also need to enter that in. What we did here is we kind of predicted what your post-training results would be. Um, so in some cases, um, we looked at the resting heart rate after the training session, but you could also consider what your post-training results would be after a three-month period. So, for example, your resting heart rate might decline by sort of 5%. So you just look at your top number here and go, well, it's 67. Actually, if I've been training for... For three uh, for six weeks, it's likely to have declined. So I've put a 62. I've just estimated what it would be after the post training. So we move on through, um, and we then have uh, our resistance training of what we did. Okay, now our resistance training was in the hall with the circuit. All right, and you obviously took these readings after 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. Uh, you have that data, so that needs to go into it, and then you want to be taking a three-month predicted reading as well. And then you've also got the aerobic one. The aerobic one was the uh, running around the track. Again, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes for all three sets of data. Again, do a three-month predicted data results, and then move on. And then you get onto some of the work which we've done in class um, and some of the... Uh, some areas we've looked at. Okay, now under each one, um, probably looking to add in one. You can add in two if you want, um, but one will be fine. Um, and you're looking to reflect on your experiences during um, what we're looking at now is the resistance, so the circuit in the hall. Okay, um, you need to link your data in. Okay, so you want to have a sentence starting off with your data, whether it's your Borg scale. Or your uh, heart rate or your blood pressure and then you need to link it to an area within one of these systems um, you then want to describe and explain and analyze this okay um, do one for each all right we've gone through some examples and I know that you have this sheet to also refer back to um, which will be fantastic to use just to give you some insight into the kind of things that you can place in here so if we look at our data now and we think about the cardiovascular system, if we go up to our resistance training, we can see that actually what happens is that our heart rate after 10 minutes is 110, goes up to 113 and goes up to 117. But there's not a significant change. Um, so we can say that actually, yes, our heart rate's increased because of the exercise, but in terms of our activity response, our heart's become familiar with the exercise and there's not a dramatic um, increase in the heart rate during the period of training um, and that is that demonstrates activity response Ooh. 
Okay, so moving on through again. Um, we get to the resistance part. Um, but this is the long-term response now. All right. Um, now, we did a little bit of work on um, what our athlete, um, for example, when we looked at Eddie Byram today, uh, we looked at what his long-term response would have been like after his training program. Now, you need to analyze yourself um, and what your uh, what your changes would be through a long-term program. This could be a six-week program or an off-season um, and then you need to have a think about what changes would have happened within each again, each of these systems. Again, reverting, reverting back to the data, um, so having a look at your data and seeing um, how that would have changed over time, okay, whether it was your heart rate or your blood pressure, um, and then linking it into um, one of these systems. So I know that with the musculoskeletal, um, a lot of you talked about um, in class uh, muscle hypertrophy. Okay, um, have a look at your data. What would your data say? Um, and then start linking it into hypertrophy and then start explaining and analyzing what happens within um, the muscles. Exactly the same for aerobic training. Um, again, using the data. All right, we probably don't need to go into too many examples on this one, do you think? Because we've just one per per uh, system. Just one per system. Just one answer per system would be would be enough. Again, the same with the long term. Then we come into some work that we haven't done just yet, which is uh, the review. Um, Alex is going to go through that with you.